Oh, is it already showing up? This is a terrible, terrible camera. You know, this camera is apparently capable of Windows Hello. Why the hell would anyone trust this camera for Windows Hello? That's why I turned it off. The reason why I'm, I'm looking like this is because I just got back from this political event. Actually, let me, let me, let me. Yeah, this is, this is it right here. I, I'll, I'll say this. So there's this dude, his name is Joffer, and he's great at like speaking continuing conversations and just being really smooth with it, really natural with it. He's a really elegant way of speaking. He's a people person kind of speaker. Like we, we told him like, if anybody could be a politician, it's you. Like nobody else that I know could be a politician except him. He's the only one that could, that could do that kind of thing, that could pull it off. When we told him like, okay, he's not like a huge, like look at these guys, look at what they're doing, right? He's just, like a real estate agent. So many people have so much experience, like decades of experience with like public speaking and all this stuff. And when you tell this guy like, okay, yeah, you gotta go talk in front of a few hundred people and handle mediation and communication between one group of people who is extremely deep into politics and this proper professional way of doing things versus another group who you're not even sure if half of them speak English. And and he had he would be like, yeah, sure, no problem. When this was going to happen, we were going to have like, this dude was there. He was like sort of hosting. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to call this person and I'm going to call this person up. And each of them were going to say a few words, like two or three minutes each. You know, they all did pretty good. She did she did pretty good. She got really emotional at the end. I thought this dude did good too. This dude did exceptional. This, this dude was on another level. I don't remember how everyone else did. I was on my phone. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not into like this politics stuff. This was sort of like a fundraising event and, and fundraising for like for like their campaigns. They're all running for this stuff. They wanted everyone to vote for them. So they sort of like portray their motivations and, and try to convince these people that were at this like meet and greet that their interests align. That like, oh yeah, we support small businesses and all that sort of stuff. Saying everything they want to hear. It's just politics. I don't feel strongly, positively or negatively about it. I don't vote. I just don't get involved. But I had to go because I made the flyer. I made this. I made this flyer, and nobody does this, by the way. Nobody ever. Um, like if you look up like event flyer or speakers flyer or political flyer, like you look up these things like event speakers political flyer PSD networking. You throw in all the keywords. You'll find like two guests, three guests at most. They kept adding them. Originally, it was like four, then five, then six, and then eight, and then ten. And they were like, okay, we're going to add one more. And then they're like, no, let's not add the one more person. Joffrey was like, we were talking before the event started. And he was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm ready. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna say a little thing before they go up there, who they are, their name, what like what their current position is, and what they're running for. And then maybe say like a sentence about them, maybe. And then introduce them up on the stage. And he's, he's he has a great accent and all that stuff. So I, I was like, oh, this is going to go great. And then like last minute, this dude decides to change it. Not Chaffer, but the, this other host decides to change it. He's like, never mind. Actually, I'm going to be the one that introduces everyone. So he does it and he does like an okay job, right? You can't expect like he has a like heavy Indian accent and he doesn't speak the best English. But it's like, how could you expect that? It's not like he, you know, grew up in America, got educated here. He spoke Eng like everyone was able to understand him. It's not like he said anything unintelligible. Me and the dude sitting next to me were like, I admire the confidence. If anything, it comes across as, as even more charming that you have that level of confidence, but still sometimes say things that are in somewhat broken English. He's like naming people. Next is uh, Tracy Kaysen. Can he please come up here? He didn't even know if it was a she or a he. I believe it was uh, this dude who called up Derek Jackson. It was Derek Jackson. And he's like, Derek Jackson, I believe you're running for uh, uh, s something. And it started with like a C, a S, S. Derek Jackson, you, you're running for like, Something, something, you're gonna come up here. He's like, uh, actually not. And he was about to come up. He's like walking up this way. Pretend I'm, I'm the reverend, I'm speaking up on stage. He's walking like this way. And over here, sitting over here, as he's walking past, is Joffer. And he goes like, Lieutenant Governor, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I pointed out to the guy next to me. I was like, see, Joffer was prepared. He should have, he should have done it. So... Yeah, it's a shame. I think Joffrey spoke better than literally every single person who spoke here. Yeah, he didn't even get a chance to speak. It's such a shame because that's like, you know, that's his time to shine. Not a big fan of all the politics stuff. It's, I'll talk about that in a different, different day.